Hey, awesome people of YouTube. Today we are going to be doing another Baldur's Gate 3 video. And this one is going to be a build Druid Barbarian, right? But before we get started, I just want to say thank you everybody who's been watching. Thank you. And if you could leave likes, comments, subscriptions, and sharing this video, that would be amazing. It shows me that you guys want to see more. Also, if you want to see some other build videos, you can let me know down in the description and also in Discord with the link down in the description. Because I want to make the builds that you guys want to see first. And in Discord, you can see when I go live, which I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 4 p.m. Right? And we're doing a Shadow, a Way of the Shadow Monk playthrough. Super evil right now. But I may be streaming it every so often. So do join Discord. That way you'll be able to know when I do that. But with that said, let's get into the video. So... The video is gonna be druid with a bit of barbarian. Right? We're gonna be going a circle of the moon. So you wanna start off with a druid, right? But for your race, it doesn't necessarily matter as much. But the mo more uh, beneficial race would be high elf and high half elf because they get benefits of not being charmed, fancy as well as draw, I believe. Uh, other races, it's up to you because you're gonna be shape shifting a lot. It doesn't really matter as much. Same as your stats, because as soon as you shape shift, your strength, dexterity, and constitution will be re rolled. Right? So, uh, your background helps with some proficiency, that's up to you again. But for the most part, stats don't really matter. Now, when you go with Druid, you know, probably the best cantrips will be, well, Thorn Whip. So you can pull enemy closer and you do a bit of damage, right? If it's a huge enemy, you won't be able to pull it, but you're going to be shape-shifting starting level 2. So at level 1, doesn't matter. So I will take that and uh, if you're going to utilize Shadow Heart, then do not take Guidance. If you don't want to use Shadow Heart, you take Guidance, right? But... Resistance is not bad, but Shadow Heart also has it. So you can do Thorn Whip and Poison Spray, right? For stats, again, it does not matter. That's up to you. I'm going to keep the stats like this. If you want to also use this as your party face, which might be a bit hard because Wild Sharp Charges, you can go a little something like this, right? Dang it. There you go. Right. But you can also go with Boom. Right. 15 constitution just for your level one time and when you out of wild sharp charges. Charisma just for when you want to be the party face so you'll be able to talk with people. Have easier checks that way and wisdom if once you're out of those wild uh shape. You can at least do something if you don't have wild shape charges. But besides that, again, it doesn't matter. Your proficiencies, probably the best will be the animal handling, you know, just for the doges and the pets, you know, and nature, because you know, you enjoy it, so your kind of thing. Another good one would be survival and perception. Right? For your name, it's up to you, obviously. But once you've gotten through Nautiloid and you got to level two, you want to stick with the droid at least till you get level two because you get some cool stuff now things that you get is your subclass you get a little bit more health level spell slot doesn't matter but you get the big thing is a wild shape which is an action you can use and you get it uh you regain it every short rest you have two of them for short rest you know you have uh, badger, spider, wolf, cat, and that's it, right? Oh, you also get a bear, sorry. Only if you go with the circle moons, which is what we're gonna go with, you know. Circle moons, you get combat wild shape, shape because normally, as you can see in other ones, it's an action. But if you go with a circle of moon, which is what we're doing, it, it counts as a bonus action. And while in sh uh, wild shape, you can expend your spell slots, since you're not going to be casting spells, to regain hit points. 
And you have the badger, spider, wolf, cat, and the bear now. Right? So for your spouse, it doesn't really matter. But definitely recommend instead of good berry, take it. Speak with animals. You know? It's why not. You, you want to speak with a doge or owlbear or other uh, animals. Right? So the thing that you're going to be... We'll, we'll get to level 3 in a second. But the thing that you want to be using in the wild shape of level 2 is your bear. Right? Because he has 12 AC or armor class. Same as wolf. But he has a oh, base AC, but with AC, because of the dexterity, it's a little bit less. But you have way more HP, you have 30 HP versus 20 of the sp uh, spider, right? But you also have 19 strength, 10 dexterity, and 16 constitution. And that will be useful once you get to level 4. But we'll get... We'll talk about it once we get there. For your level three, you get some uh, spell slots to get more health. Which, again, if you're gonna, if you're staying in the wild shape life, doesn't really matter as much. It's only really good once you're out of wild shape. Uh, Infernal Legacy, that's for tieflings. But if you are sometimes gonna be out of wild shape, the thing that you definitely want to use is Moonbeam, and instead of, uh, you can also do Entangle. It's pretty cool, but Another good one is whole person, but since we have Shadow Heart for it, uh, you definitely don't want to use that. Tango and Moonbeam is pretty good. Right, it's your level three. Now at level four, you get a uh, Wild Shape Deathrath and Dire Raven. Right? Not amazing. I would still utilize the bear because the bear is still stronger in terms of base health. And well, doing damage, but you also get a feed, which is where staying as a bear will be huge because bear, remember, has 19 strength. Right? So for your cantrip, take whatever you know, you can go with resistance or guidance. I usually pick guidance, but for your feet, you can go with alert, which is good because it gives you five initiative, and you can't be surprised because five initiative allow you to go, excuse me, closer to the front, but there is a Pretty amazing feat that you know a lot of builds use, and it is Tavern Brawler because it says when you make an unarmed attack, you can use improvised weapon or throw something. It will use uh, your strength modifier. Uh, your strength modifier is added twice to the damage and attack rolls. It says unarmed attacks, and when you're in the wild shape, okay, the bear, you are unarmed, and you have 19 strength. So think about it. It's pretty much getting a free SI with a Tavern Brawler. So you hit a lot harder. That's why Wild Bear is huge because you get that 19 strength. Tavern Brawler, you'll be hitting like a truck. So for this, you can pick Constitution. You know? Level 2 spells, it's up to you. Right? Now at level 5, you don't get really much. You get the health, you know, you get a spell, uh, spell slot. But you got one biggest thing it is Wild Shake. You make an additional attack. After making an unarmed attack while in wild shape. So you get two free attacks. So, well, sorry, not free attacks. You, you attack twice, which is huge. Remember, because you have Tavern Brawler, your strength is added twice. And with a bear being 19 strength, that's huge. Right? For your level 3 spell slots, once you're out of that, and if you still have spell slots, you can go with Call Lightning, because it does pretty good. You cast it once, and for 10 turns, as long as you still have concentration, you can move it. And it does 3d10, which is 3 to 30 damage. Right? Now, at level 6, you get one of the biggest things. Right? Is, you get Primal Shack, which is it's pretty good, because, well, while in the beast form, your attacks count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical damage. So you... Get a pretty huge boost, but the biggest thing you get is not just not a panther, but an owlbear. Owlbear, as you can see, has 65 points. Right? But the thing that is huge about it, it has a base AC of 14 because of this dexterity mod, because you get 12 dexterity with it. You get AC of 15, which is not the highest, but it's pretty good. You get 65 HP, right? You get 20 strength and 17 concentration. 
20 strength. 20. And remember, that is the highest strength you can get in the wild shape. The other ones are 19 and then 20 is the highest. And you have Tavern Brawler. So think about that. That's huge. Right? Level 3 spell slot again, it doesn't matter. Now you have level 6. You got the biggest boost. Now instead of getting level 7 Druid, what you're gonna do is you go to Barbarian. And the thing is, you, this is where your gameplay will change a little. Before you would just wild shape and you'd be good. But now you're in the rage before a wild shape. Right? So you'll be out of wild shape most of the time. And before you get into a combat, you can rage and get that. You don't have to rage if you don't want to, but raging you get resistance to physical damage, you know, and you get adventure and strength checks and saves. And because you have 20 strength with the owl bear, you get good with that, you know. An armor defense, uh, I believe that benefits a while in wild shape. I'm not too sure, but the proficiencies don't matter. Right? <coughs> That's your level 7. Level 8, you stick with the Barbarian. You get Danger Sense, which uh, you get advantage on Dexterity saving throws against traps, spells, and surfaces. You know? And you cannot be blinded or incapacitated. Well, sorry, you cannot be blinded or incapacitated to keep this benefit. You also get a Reckless Attack. You know? And it still works while you're in Wild Shape. Which is pretty good. It allows you to have less chances of, you know, Missing, so you have more chance of hitting your attacks. Right. Level 3, you get to be Barbarian still, and you get your subclass. You, know? you now also get a free speak with the animals, because you're going to be going not with a Berserker, not with Wild Magic, but with a Wild Heart. And you can get rid of the speak with the animals from your Druid for something else. Right. You also gain a passive Bestial Heart, depending on which thing you get will determine subclass. So you have bear heart, eagle heart, elk heart, heart, tiger heart, and wolf heart. Some of them more useful than others. So bear heart. While raging, you can use unrelenting ferocity and have physical and have resistance to all damage except psychic damage. Remember you're gonna be doing a lot more short rest because you get your wild shape charges when uh after you short rest so you'll be out of uh, wild shape most of the time and then before you get into a fight you go into uh, turn based mode rage wild shape boom you go with eagle heart again that's raging all of them require you to be raging right? the best one will probably be the bear because you get that resistance right Another decent one is not just a tiger, uh, sorry, not tiger heart, wolf heart, because you get instinct inciting wolf. You and your allies will have advantage on attack rolls against enemies within two meters of you. That's a good one, but I like to get bear, or probably my more favorite. So from here, how your progress is up to you. You can go six and six, six druid, circle of the moon, and six barbarian. Because at level 6, you get, uh, for Open Barbarian, you get an extra subclass thing, right? Or you can stick with Druid and allow yourself to get more benefits for your um, Wild Shape stuff. You know, for every two levels of uh, Druid, you get a little bit more HP for your uh, Wild Shape. But you can go 8 and 4 just so you can get an extra feat. But I'm going to show you the 6 and 6 because there's some decent benefits you can get. Right? But it's up to you. It all depends on which companions you have and how you build them. So I will do level 4. You know, you can change your, uh, what should we call it? Your beast to heart. You know, so if you don't want to have the bear, you can go with the eagle or wolf or whatever. Now, for your feet, I would definitely go with the alert. 
because you already have the huge tavern brother. The Lord just allows you to go faster. Yeah. So I won't be able to go six and six, but if you go with six barbarian, you can get an aspect of the beast. You know, you can go with bear where you get your carry capacity doubled and you have advantage on strength checks. You no, know? uh, you can go with uh, Wolverine when you attack a bleeding or poison target, you inflict name on them, which is huge if you have somebody who does bleed or poison. Right. You can go with a tiger where you add additional strength modifier to attack cross against bleeding or poison targets and gain proficiency in survival. But if you don't have any of those, stick with four barbarian and eight druid because you get a little bit of druid stuff. So if you out of world shape charges, you can still use your spells and not be as uh uh, kind of less effective. So he'd be still be decently effective because you get blight, confusion, minor elemental conjuration, woodland being, rare movement, ice storm, all that cool stuff. Right. So for your level four spell slot, I would take definitely ice storm, wall of fire, just to zone him out. Right. That type of stuff. Uh, there we go. For your level eight. Or for uh, your level 12, stick with a druid. Right? Because at level 8, you get Saber Tooth Tiger, Wild Shape, which I would not use. I would still use Albert because of the Tavern Brawler. That's huge. Right? And you get an extra spell slot. For equipment, if you are going to be in Wild Shape a lot, I would stick with No Gear. Well, whatever gear just to help you stay alive outside combat because, well, you're going to be in a wild shape all the time. So for the gear, it does not matter. And as you can see, what you can do, ooh, I can't reach, sorry about that. I have heavy armor. Let me switch it out too. Okay, we'll go with light armor. So what you can do is, if I remember, where is my rage? Ah, I don't remember. But here's your wild shape. You have your badger, bear, cat, and all this wonderful stuff. Remember, the biggest thing is this beautiful owl bear. You know? You still have your spell slots, which are pretty decent, you know? So you can you be somewhat of a backline attacker. Just because, well, you don't have the big uh, spells like other ones no. for this you need uh, to be in combat so uh, if you're not in combat you can't really use it but before combat you can pop this right or so not before combat so in combat you can pop this and then go into your wild shape no unfortunately it is bonus action so be careful with that but if you don't really care about entering the bear heart you can go in just a wild shape and just go out bear and look at that. You have 65 HP, which doesn't look as good, right? But you can do Lunar Med to expand it and gain HP. So at level 1, it's 1 to 8. At level 4, it's 4 to 34 or 4 to 32 level 4 spell slot. Right? You also have some cool stuff like this Miss Wild Shift. You can rupture Earth, you know, in doing uh, 3 to 20 damage and you can do that's pretty big AOE and it pushes enemies back. So you can actually push enemies off the cliffs, giving them uh, or making them prone and also doing more damage or just completely eliminating if they fall into the abyss. Now, the cool thing is you not just have jump, you have a uh, crashing flight, which is jump that does more damage, you know, and makes them prone. As you can see, it has decent AOE and it will do damage. It, you have hide, you have the basic stuff, which for the most part, you can also obviously use enrage, sorry. But it's up to you. Which, if you do enrage over here, you give your uh, owlbear base instinct to increase your strength by two and possibly make nearby uh, creatures fear fearful. Which still you can do as well, owlbear, and it will utilize your rage charge. So you go with owlbear for more time and just use that. 
and increasing your strength by two will allow you to go from as you can see 20 strength to 22 allowing your um, tavern bro to be massive massive and for level eight feet you can pretty much choose uh kind of whatever you want because the biggest thing is you already grabbed you know alert just to go faster and tavern brawler but getting 22 strength is huge remember because the tavern brawler with the enormous attacks counts as twice but that's it for the build uh gear remember it doesn't matter because well you don't get benefits from that gear right you see it cannot be used while shape shifted so it sucks but you can still do a lot of damage uh as you can see you do 8 to 25 and you can push targets back so you can push them off the cliffs that way and you can do massive damage but that is it for this build hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment subscribe you know what to do and let me know what other builds you want to see but that is it for the beautiful circle of the moon barbarian build i'll see you in the next one bye bye